Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I'm about to do some just, I guess, fun adult stuff. Um, I got new soap dispensers. These we've had for three years. They're just starting to get so gross at the top. They've honestly been gross for a while. I just feel like it's time to change them out. So I got these new ones from Target and they were like $10 a piece. Yeah, I thought they would look better. The soap that we use is kind of like purplish tinted because we use the like cheap stuff, but it's the antibacterial kind. And I thought it'd be nice to just kind of have like a solid one. I also have a container in my bathroom. I'll grab it. So I have this container in my bathroom and I just have like cotton rounds and some Q-tips in here that I got specifically for that. And this matches it. So I thought I would just get these to match this little container since they still had them. And yeah, that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> some fun stuff. I started watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. I'm not a show watcher. I don't really watch shows. I watch YouTube because... I don't know it's not i can kind of like pick up and stop wherever i want to and it's not something that i like necessarily have to be paying attention to like the whole time and i get like really bored with shows really easily like i just don't watch shows so i started watching the summer i turned pretty because i've heard nothing but good things and i'm hooked I'm almost done with season one and I started it two days ago. So I'm on episode six now and there's seven episodes and then I'm gonna start watching season two, but I really, really like it. It's such like a cute, feel good, high school love type of show. And I just love it. It's like, I don't really like reality TV. You know what I'm saying when the show is like reality TV, it's like negative drama filled. It almost like, tell me how good you feel after like watching like a really good show that's like good for your mental health in a way. And tell me how you feel after like a reality TV show where there's like drama and just like terrible people and it like consumes your head and I can tell you that it's like just like not good for you overall and I don't know so I don't really watch reality TV like I don't watch the whole Vanderpump thing I just can't watch reality TV like that it really brings my mood down it just like isn't good for like my mental space so I don't watch it because I just don't like to feel that way and that's why I watch YouTube and I only really watch people that I genuinely like like and they add value to my life and they make me feel good and I never walk away feeling like less of myself or less of my life and I think that's so important and same with like Instagram and TikTok and everything like that and TikTok can get so toxic so I really only go through like the following page of like people that I follow because TikTok is just it's super toxic and um same with Instagram like I did like, a little detox of people that it wasn't like bad people or anything like that just i wanted to start following more people that really inspire me and just add so much great value to my life not that those people that i unfollowed didn't just being particular about that because i'm particular in other aspects but i've been loving the summer i turned pretty i think it's such a cute show Okay, it's later. I just went to the mailbox, got this, and I think this is the wedding invitation for Italy. Our Italy wedding that we're going to 
which is like the whole main reason we're going to Italy and then we so the wedding is gonna be in the middle of our Italy trip so this is gonna be a really long trip we're gonna be gone for like 17 days so it's a really long trip we're gonna be at the wedding festivities for about four days and it's in the middle of our trip so we're gonna have about a week to do our own thing then four days and then another week before we leave so i'm really excited i really think this is the invitation for the italy wedding and i'm gonna open it i'm so excited oh my gosh this is so exciting i'll have to show christian when he gets home i'm so excited we're actually leaving in like 30 30 days I think like 29 days into the week for Europe. It's crazy. Okay, so now into like what I was originally going down there for, and then I got a surprise, which was the wedding invitation. I'm so excited. These are handmade off Etsy. This is the shop name. Obviously, a small company. She, I think only one is made at a time so she only sells one design at a time they're all made to order and handmade so i'm gonna open it i got two little okay here's i think the other one's inside but i got these cute little it is i got these cute little kind of travel bags in these cute floral pattern i got a smaller one oh the inside is so cute on this one i got a smaller one and a larger one i can link the exact ones that i got but since we're going on some trips i have like really old makeup bags that they're just like starting to fall apart like there's holes in them and um i was kind of just like looking on amazon and things and then kind of wanted to check out etsy and like just don't sleep on etsy they have the cutest little bags like this there are actually so many little cosmetic bags but this one she is so sweet and she's a small business owner so definitely support small businesses where you can and i think it's so cute these are going to be so cute for travel so i will link the exact ones that i got here's like a little bit closer up of the fabric so this is what i was excited about it took it takes a little bit over a month i think she was a little bit behind she said but worth the wait they're so cute just getting ready for the day and i haven't talked about these at all and i've had them for probably a month now i love them for i know we're kind of like transitioning into fall unfortunately i keep seeing all of these fall decor hauls things like that and we're just about to start august so i'm still like in summer mode till probably september but i got these lex unfiltered beauty balms and there are three of them, but I only did get the two colors because I already have, I'm not like a huge highlighter person and the highlighter that I do have is from Merit and I love it. So I really didn't think it was necessary. These colors, if you love cream products, you would love these. So this one is in Tropics and it's this bronzy shimmery color and I used it to contour and it gives you such a pretty glow and um i love the color it's buildable but also like you can keep it super natural so i love this color for contour and you can also totally use this on your body like maybe on your collarbones when you have like a nice tan this would be so pretty as well so got that color and then i got the color sunset which is like the prettiest pinky color for your cheeks i was putting it on with this brush and it just is like the prettiest color 
for your cheeks to give you like a nice sun-kissed glow without going out actually out in the sun and then i also got their little brush which i only use for the bronzer but i use like a regular i don't even know this is a foundation brush from sephora but i like how it's angled and i can kind of like tap it in but i really really like these i will link them down below i love Lux unfiltered i have their lip balm that i raved about which is like the cooling applicator and i also have their hand cream which i obviously love it's so moisturizing. I keep this on my desk at work as well. And I also use their gradual self tanner literally every single week. So, and I've been using that for two years now and I love it. So I've always loved Lux Unfiltered products. She's incredible. She really creates great products. So I wanted to share these because I have been using them and loving them. I love them for work. It's like natural makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup to work at all. And these give you such a nice glow and bring like life to your face. I self tan, so I don't really get color other than self tanner that I use. And as it comes off throughout the work week, this is really nice to bring that kind of like glow to your face. I also use the self-tanning drops as well, if it will focus. This brings a lot of glow and color to your face as well. So I love her products, obviously. So I will link them. I'm gonna finish getting ready, but I did. I just finished using them and I was like, why haven't I said anything about them? I love the products, so. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then probably start cooking breakfast and then I need to go on the usual Sunday errands. We just got home from dinner. We went to Just Salad for dinner. It's new to the Winter Park area, so if you live in Orlando, definitely go. But we went to Gideon's right after because it was actually open. Usually we eat dinner pretty late, probably around 7.30 or 8, because that's usually when we eat it during the work week. We get back home from the gym, shower, and before you know it, it's late. So we actually had like a six six o'clock dinner, 6.30. So we got Gideon's on our way home and we obviously already had some of this, but they're the best cookies. This one is peanut butter and then this is the chocolate chip. Really, really good. <laughs> 